cancer is the leading cause of death among children aged 15 and under after accidents, it naturally raised a great deal of concern in my mind as a parent that I was bathing my kids in products sold to me by manufacturers who really didn't give a damn about the welfare of my own children, or your children, or this nation's children. And outraged as I was, I began testing products and discovering that almost every bubble bath and shampoo that kids are using today are contaminated with 1,4-dioxane. As I began testing more products, I learned that it wasn't just children uh, who were at risk, but that products like body washes, shampoos, lotions, all-purpose cleaners, dishwashing soaps, and other categories were also contaminated with 1,4-dioxane. And no consumers were being told this. In fact, there's no labeling requirements for 1,4-dioxane. Last year, in March 2008, we had results for uh, over 100 products. That testing showed that many products were contaminated with 1,4-dioxane, both mainstream products and products in the natural products industry. Most companies now are going to have to reformulate. Today actually marks what I think is the culmination of this campaign to remove 1,4-dioxane from consumer products. Last year there were a lot of products over here that were using the word organic that were testing positive for dioxane 1,4. Uh, we have to police our industry. Uh, we can't let people use that word organic on any kind of product, uh, especially when it's problematic or toxic. It doesn't matter whether it's dog food, whether it's home cleaning products, whether it's fertilizer, whatever. If we allow people to drag down the name of organic, it's going to affect us all. We're very happy to see uh, <clears throat> this idea of put the natural back in natural, uh, preserve organic integrity on things that are organic. Well, let's look at the big picture here for a minute. Uh, certified organic is about 4% of the market now. Natural is about 8%. Uh, this is $70 billion. That's a big chunk of change. Unfortunately, a lot of the natural products are not really natural. We're not going to solve the climate crisis. We're not going to solve the energy crisis. We're not going to revitalize rural economies. We're not going to uh, solve our public health uh, crisis and, and raise our children uh, to be healthy unless we stop patting ourselves on the back we're going over the cliff unless we transform american agriculture and american eating habits into organic it's great we're making progress let's raise the bar the good news today is that in the natural products industry many of the manufacturers including seventh generation earth earth friendly products shikai and um, Giovanni, to name a few, uh, have reformulated. And as a result, uh, many products today are no longer contaminated with 1,4-dioxane. According to our study, uh, the results we obtained indicated a significant improvement for 23 products from 16 major brands. And this is good for children, this is good for consumers, and this is good for the natural products industry. All of these products have tested non-detectable. This is a huge improvement for the natural products industry. On the other hand, not everyone has made changes. For example, Mrs. Meyer's soap, dish soap, we tested it at 204 parts per million 1,4-dioxane. Now when consumers are using this product, not only are they getting exposed by washing, by dipping their hands in the sink, but it leaves residues on the plates, on your dishes, and everything that it comes in contact with. If taking care of our kids and the responsibilities that corporations and companies have uh, to the public welfare and to being good citizens isn't enough, maybe removing money from their wallets will be. Dial is another company that for two years now, we've been providing results. Again, they chose not to reformulate and have filed legal action against Dial. We have filed legal action against Hello Kitty because their levels 
were quite high. Another example, Carol Herbal Essence also has tested high and we're uh, legal action be filed against Carol Herbal Essence as well. Most companies now are going to have to reformulate. The natural products industry has led that reformulation, but mainstream companies will also have to reformulate. Last year, Citrus Magic tested at 96 parts per million. This year, it tested non-detectable. Huge improvements can be made. Whole Foods has stated that it will reformulate all of its 365-day line so that it is uh, uh, dioxane-free as well. While 1,4-dioxane is on its way out and levels are being markedly reduced, still other estrogen-mimicking chemicals like parabens, phthalates are still being used. And uh, the frank carcinogens like cocomide DEA still appear in products. And it's a wonder that the cosmetic industry is still virtually unregulated. In the state of New York, Earth Justice has filed a legal suit against several major household cleaning product companies to finally force household cleaning product companies to disclose the ingredients in their products on the label. All in all, this has been a very successful campaign. I, I applaud the natural products industry and those responsible members of the industry who really took this seriously enough to reformulate their products and provide a safer uh, consumer product for consumers, particularly for our kids. And I think the end result is these companies are the ones that will be sustainable and will last a long time.